Campers, today we're going to experience the thrill of making our very own pottery. Doesn't that sound exciting? This is called a potter's wheel. First, we get it spinning like this. There you go. There you go. <laughs> then we plop on a glob of clay like this. <laughs> and you, oh, boy, here we go. And you form it into a hollow shape. This is known as throwing a pot. There you see the way I'm putting my hand? Whoa! Looks more like the pot through you. <laughs> I, I just did that to show you how exciting pottery can be. <clears throat> And speaking of excitement, let me tell you a little story. It all started in the Gimiguchi Woods, where I was teaching the campers about wilderness survival. All right, we've set up camp in the deep woods. Now let's imagine it's night, and the forest is filled with ferocious, hungry animals. Uh, I've got a better idea. Let's imagine I'm back at the lodge playing video games, which I will be. Iggy, there's nothing to be frightened of. By setting this snare next to the campfire, you can relax and get a good night's sleep. I could do the same thing by just fainting. How come we always have to hop? Why can't we just walk like normal animals? Because we're rabbits, that's why. And rabbits are supposed to hop. We're also supposed to twitch our noses like this. But why? Because people think it's cute. Cute? Don't ever use that word. I hate cute. This is what I think of cute. Oh, I better keep him away from those Easter jelly beans. All that sugar is making him hyper. There we go. I pity the ferocious beast that tries to sneak up on us now. <laughs> What a doofus! That thing couldn't catch a butterfly. Well, what do you expect? He's only a human. Oh, uh, look at the bunny rabbits. Yes, Robin, they're very cute. Cute wolf! <laughs> now we cover it very gently. This trap has a hair trigger. Ouch! Ooh, whoa! It was triggered by a hair, all right. Actually, John kind of deserved that. Don't panic, John. I'll cut you down. No, Alex, don't. Oh. Oh. I landed in a patch of thorns, but luckily Nurse Molly was there to look after me with her gentle, healing hands. Oh, 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 oh. Really, John? <laughs> oh, you don't have to go to such pains just to see me. Pain is right. Ow! Oh! Oh, <laughs> why not simply come right out and ask me to dinner? Well, uh, I'd like to, you know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm afraid I couldn't sit down to eat dinner, you know. Phone call for you, John. Oh, great. Thanks, Alex. Saved by the phone bell. <laughs> Whoa! Yes, this is Head Counselor Candy. <clears throat> well, this is the County Safety Inspector. I've had a report that your place is full of safety hazards. Camp Candy? Safety hazards? That's right. I'll be coming by to inspect it later today. By all means, sir. I, ooh, uh, I, I'm sure you'll find it meets the, the, the highest safety standards. Oh! But little did I know that someone was listening in on every word I said. You mean Rex DeFore is the third, that pretty guy who's always trying to tear down Camp Candy and put up a bunch of condominiums and parking lots in its place? That's amazing. How did you know? Hey, it doesn't take an Einstein. He does that in all your stories. Chester, my plan is working. Oh, what is it, boss? Let me hear. Will you please stop eavesdropping on my eavesdropping? Uh, sorry, boss. Ow! You bug-brain baboon! Oh, I'd wring your neck if I weren't in such a good mood. You are? Of course I am! Can't you tell by my face? And all because Camp Candy is about to flunk that safety inspection. <laughs> the safety inspector would be arriving in a few hours, so I put the girls to work clearing all of Robin's animals off her bunk. As for Iggy and Binky, I assigned them the easiest job I could find, clearing the rocks from the shores of Lake Cacciatore. Oh, this place is no summer camp. 
It's more like a prison chain gang. I think it's fun. I like carrying rocks. That's because you're only 40 years old. You haven't discovered self-pity yet. Hey, let's play pirate. Yo ho ho and a bottle of root beer. No, Binky, don't! Poor Iggy and Binky. It looked like they were up the Cachatory Creek without a paddle.